So as many of you are aware, I am the creator of the Sumerian Oracle deck. And it's a great tool for divination, but it's also wonderful because it uses traditional imagery where possible. Now, obviously, the ancient Sumerians didn't have cards. They didn't have paper. Their divination systems would have been different. They used many, many different types of divination system. Now, one question I often get asked is, how might you use the Sumerian Oracle in order to set up an altar on the go? So here you see a bunch of statues that take at least some carving ability or sculpting ability. You see um, water, which could get everywhere. You see fire, which could be a fire hazard. You see food, which might not be convenient to carry around. Uh, you see a specific offering container that might not be something that is practical. Um, let's say you're traveling. And let's say you have limited artistic ability and limited space to pack when you're traveling. So first of all, the fire is out. So you're going to need something to replace it. And the god of fire is Gabil. So you're going to need a statue of the gods, whichever gods you're giving offering to. In this case, Enki. You're going to need a statue of the worshiper in order to give worship to the gods. The water might not be something that would be convenient to travel with. Um, quite often, if you're staying in a hotel, you might use one of the cups that they're offering, a mug perhaps, or you might be able to offer uh, bottled water. But let's say you can't. You don't always have a place for an offering. So you need something to represent that offering. And having a guardian spirit, while nice, is also something that um, requires some artistic ability that maybe you don't have. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit so that you guys can see this better. All right, so for the deity that I am giving offering to, again, I chose Anki, but that might not be your deity. It might be Anana, it might be Enlil, it might be Gabil, it might be any of a number of deities. For the offering, I chose hospitality. And if you've seen my earlier videos, you know that hospitality and the idea of giving offerings are very intertwined. Um, for the fire, I chose the god of fire. That is the essence that transforms the offering and takes it to the gods. And for the guardian spirits, which are not necessary, but um, I find them very nice to have around, 
uh, I have the Imdegood, which is associated with Anki. I have the Dimshap, that is a kind of a bear demon. And I have the Scorpion Men, which are more connected with the goddess Gula. But you see that without any of the ritual objects, I can substitute for nearly everything symbolically. Now, while I personally like it if you guys get my particular deck, um, you don't have to. If you have your own artistic ability, I would like you to make your own images of the gods. Uh, so if you can sculpt, go ahead and sculpt. Uh, this is a way, this using the Sumerian Oracle is not necessary in order to give devotion to the gods. Um, I hope this was enjoyable. And if you have more questions on Sumerian altars, or how to worship the gods, don't be afraid to contact me or any of the other Sumerians. Thank you very much. Hope to see you again.